Today I'm going to show you how to make a rug like this skid free using the brush on 40 urethane rubber. Now the problem that I'm faced with here is that this particular rug slides around causing a hazard and slip and fall potential and to eliminate that we're going to coat the back of the rug with a layer of the brush on 40 urethane rubber. Now let's just jump into that project and see how it's done. Now this is a straightforward project. No special tools are required and the application is very easy and simple. We're simply going to unroll the rug and place it onto its front so that the backside is exposed and then using some masking tape that you can get at any hardware store, we're going to mask off the area that we want to apply the material to. So first we're going to go around the entire perimeter and then we're going to make a perimeter on the inside. This is where you're going to choose how wide your rubber application going to be. Here we're doing about one inch of uh, rubber application all around the perimeter and then we're going to place an X going uh, over the entire center of the carpet. This is going to give us much more stability overall once the material is applied. Now the product we're going to be using for this project is the Brush On 40. This is a 1 to 1 mix ratio by volume product with a pot life of 20 minutes and a cure of 16 hours. Now the reason why I'm using the Brush On 40, it's a thickened brush on application material. It means it's going to stay in place where you apply it. Being a thickened brush on application material will not leak through or seep through to the other side of the carpet. Now when dispensing the brush on 40 or any thickened material like this, we like to use a procedure called pack it in and level it off or top it off. So we're going to pack the material in and then we're going to level it off, making sure there's no large air voids in that uh, dispensing cup. Otherwise you can uh, throw the material off ratio if there's too much air voids. To extend the shelf life of unused Moisture sensitive polyurethane products like the Brush On 40 simply use some extended sprayed right into the container as the lid is applied and shut. All it takes is one second of spray for a small container like this. Now once the A and B are dispensed, we can go ahead and combine it in a clean mixing container. And as always, you want to make sure that you stir thoroughly by scraping the sides, scraping the bottom of your mixing container, and then we're going to transfer it into a secondary clean mixing container. This is called a double mix technique. And then we're going to proceed by uh, scraping the sides and scraping the bottom once again. Uh, once the material is mixed thoroughly, we can go ahead and apply it to the back of our carpet. I'm simply going to lay down a bead of the rubber in the desired area using the mixing stick and then I'm going to come back with a uh, chip brush and spread that around creating a nice and even coating uh, all throughout the application. So Here again from above you can see I'm spreading that material and covering all the areas that we masked off. For this application here, I used about three quarters of a trial unit of the Brush On 40. So it's not a lot of material to cover a, a six by four rug with the perimeter all the way around, including a X going down the center. The Brush On 40 is now allowed a partial cure for about 20 minutes. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna remove that masking tape. Now, the reason why we don't wait till the material is tack free is it can bond to the tape and it'll be impossible to remove the tape uh, with the clean edges left behind on the carpet. So we wanna remove it while the material is still pliable, about 20 minutes after the application. And here you can see that removing that tape leaves a nice crisp edge and looks very professional. The material is now allowed a full cure of 16 hours. All right, so it's been 16 hours. Our product here has fully cured and is fully attached now to the bottom of this rug. Now let's fold this up and get it installed and see how it does. 
The carpet is installed back into the kitchen and now can be safely walked on without the fear of it slipping. Even if you try to put some pressure and slide that carpet around, it will still stay put due to the friction of the rubber. Now, if you got inspired by our project and you like to give uh, your own projects a go and need some of our materials, you can visit any one of our distributors around the world. So there you have it, a simple and easy way to make a rug like this skid-free using the Brush On 40. Now if you have an idea about what we should do next, please let me know down in the comments below and if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Now to keep up with our latest mold making and casting videos, remember to subscribe.